Hi, welcome back to another episode of Ben's Machines. So today I've got the parts from Kubota. So I'm going to start doing the reassembly. So the very first thing I'm going to start with today is to reinstall or install the new seal on the rear axle case. So here is the old axle seal, which was right here. Maybe you can see there's some wear marks on there. So the hydraulic oil was leaking between the case cover right on the ground, making all these puddles of, of hydraulic oil. So what I'm gonna do is replace that with a, with a brand new brand new oil seal, part number 66911-17810. Here is the new seal. And you can see there's a bit of a cutout. So that's gonna go in there just like that. So I'm gonna use my trusty four by four block and my hammer and I'll just, I'll set that into place. But before I do that, I'm just gonna put a little bit of engine oil on this seal on the outside ring. And then also on the, the inner surface of the gear case. Maybe that will make the installation go a little bit easier. And then also to make this job go easier, I might just get some blocks and plop this up in this position. So let me get some lumber. Okay. Now I'll just... Basically there's a chamfer on here. So that should auto, auto locate itself. See, that looks pretty good like that. I'll set my four by four on top and just tap that down. Make sure it's fully seated against the case, which it is. Just tap it a few more times. I think we're, I'm satisfied how this is. Give it another couple of taps. There you go. Just before I forget, I'm just gonna add some oil to the seal so that when I install it, there's a little bit of lubrication on that. And I'll make sure that I verify this when we get to that point. Okay, so this, the new seal is in place. The next step is to, is to install our new gasket. So here's the gasket, part number 664061263. So this gasket is gonna get put in place on here, on, on this part of the tractor. Okay, now I'm just gonna apply some RTV sealant. So I'm just gonna use this opportunity to install some high temperature gasket maker. I know I'm installing a gasket, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this just to keep keep everything nice in place. And because it's gonna be, you know, this is a system that's full of oil, maybe this will, you know, help prevent any, any, any leaks. We have the gasket maker in place. I will install the gasket. This goes like this. Now there's sealing on this side. Now what I'm gonna do is just apply some sealant on this surface here. The 
sealant is in place. Now let's get this part installed. I want to preserve that oil seal, so I'm just going to apply some oil down on the on the shaft here. Maybe it's better if I do this. This has to be off. Okay, let's see if we can get this on now. Make sure my drain plug is tight just so that when I start refilling with hydraulic oil I don't I don't forget to, uh, to have that in place so all my all my bolts are are tight so now the rear rear axle case is installed I have my bolts in place the next step I'm gonna do is install the brakes so I'll get my gasket sealer, apply a bead on this surface, and install the gasket. Here's the gasket. We'll put the gasket in place. Okay, so here is the, the brakes for the, the, this Kubota tractor. The brakes are, are quite, quite basic where there's just two pads. These two pads, um, once, once you actuate this lever with your foot, as you can see, this drum will rotate and these pads will basically press or move outwards and they're thus making contact to that brake drum that we'll see over on the tractor. So what, what I would recommend before putting brakes in place, such as like what we're doing today, is take some sandpaper and just sand this surface and this surface of the brakes to make sure that they're free of any grease or oil, just so that you've got the maximum contact surface between the brake pad material and the brake drum. So let's go and install this in place. reinstall my linkages, my brake and my lock differential linkage. So I'll just reinstall these pins and cutter pins. There 
it is there. How do you like that? And then we'll do the top one, same process, except this guy needs a little bit of convincing to get in place. Need to push it in a smidgen. This, this has the making of me smashing my hands. I'm gonna hold it like this, and I'm gonna put some pressure with my thumb on the pin and give it a tap. Booyah. Give it a tap. Do it again. What goes on next? A washer. And cutter pin. The next part I'm gonna install is this, reinstall this panel. It goes here, 12, two 12 millimeter bolts. I'll put my favorite stuff on. This spring is meant to keep this brake lever back. So we'll take this and we'll install him there. So now he keeps this lever back. All right, so my brake lever clevis is installed. The return spring is installed. The lock differential lever is installed with the return spring. My, my bolts are secured. The next step will be to reinstall the fender. So let me get the fender. The fender itself mounts up like this. So let's get let's get the bolts ready. So there's five bolts. So I'll hold the spender on. one, two, three, four, five bolts. And then down here, there's two mounting spots for this fender to attach to the foot peg, uh, the foot uh, pad. And there are these, these two, two bolts, Phillips bolts that go down there. the fender in with the foot pad or the foot rest. Okay, so those two bolts are now installed. So now the foot pad, which is here, is now tied into the fender. I'm now going to use a number 12 socket and tighten these, these bolts here. reinstall the rear wheel. And I think what I'll do is I'll just apply some uh, 
some anti-seize on the uh, axle here. I have to set the, the, the locating pin is here. So I have to make sure that when I install the wheel hub, that locating pin will, will line up. So it's going to go in like this. Here's the locating pin. Put the locating pin in place and then hold it in with the spring clip. Presto. And that's it. This was not a how-to video, but just, just a video of how I reinstalled or I repaired the oil seal on this Kubota tractor. Stay tuned to the next one when we keep working on this tractor and we get the engine installed.